Hi guys, it's me Caitlin. Back with my making with Caitlin. I'm sorry I haven't done it in a while, just with school and homework and everything, but I'm finally free. And today I'm going to be reviewing the marker maker, the Crayola marker maker. Which one I'm gonna make is this one. So for red, first you would go up to the twelve. I can't see it. You need to go up to the 12, and it won't go that fast, it's only going to be like a few drops. Now all you have to do is fill it up to the 15, because all of the colors are going to be up to the 15. Okay, so next, um, you will take... One of these things, it's squishy, but don't take anything out of it. And just put it through the tweezers and just set it in there. Just wait for it to sink up. So while that's doing, what you're going to do is you're going to grab one of these and one of the tips, Oops, marker tips. And you're just going to put it through here, kind of push down. So it's all off, just like that. And then over here, they call this the wishing well. So you just put the tip of the marker, just put it in there, and that's all for now. So you get the tweezers and put them through here so you don't get ink on your hand, because that won't be good. And then you would just put it through here, kind of push down. All the way. Okay, it's all the way down. So next, you would grab one of the um, bottom of the caps. The bottom cap. Just set it in there, push a little bit. And then you would get the yellow. And here for two clicks. One. Two. And then here's the marker so far. Next. You would grab one of the caps, which they're like this. You put it on, nice and tight, and then set it in the thing and just wait for it to rise. Okay, so my marker is done right here, and it takes about two, three to four minutes, just to let you know. And now, what you can do is just grab a piece of paper. I'm just going to use this, the sheet, because we already know how to do it and everything. So, the construction sheet. And so, just write and see how it turns out. And I can do it on the other side. Kind of like a bluish color. Let's it a little. And I can write high. So that's a bluish color. So now what you're going to do, set this to this side. Oh, you're going to grab the stickers. As you see, we've already made a bunch. And what you're going to do is just think of a name of your marker and think of what you want to name it. You can name it whatever you want. I'm Daisy. I'm gonna name it <laughs> Blueberry. Okay, done with that. <laughs> Little small space. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is take it off, just like this, 
and then you're just going to put it on here. Oops. You're just going to put it on here this way. The diagonal. What? Long ways. Long ways. <laughs> just like this. And make sure it's not on the cap because these are really sticky and so they it wouldn't be. Um, and then you couldn't get the cap off. And then just go around. So now you're done with your marker. I want to show you some markers that I made last night. This one is leaf green. It's one of my favorites. I made a lot of greens. And then this one is orange boom. Couldn't think of a name with with orange, so orange boom. Lime green. And spark green. And they have the boxes to put the markers in, which I think are really cool and you can color on them. And I really love them. And so you can just color on them, like right here. And color the cap, um, color the sides, like here. And so that's it. And I hope you had a bun uh, fun making this. Since I haven't made a making with Caitlin in a while, I may do one today or tomorrow, or maybe both. So that was it for today. Bye.